My name is Aditya Raghuram, and I'm a new Whitehead Fellow at the Whitehead Institute. I'm really interested in the question of how to deliver large molecules into cells. Small molecules like aspirin or ibuprofen can kind of readily diffuse through cell membranes and get inside cells. But larger molecules like proteins or RNAs have a really hard time doing that. And we're really interested in these large molecules because many of them can be used for therapeutic purposes, especially you know, recent advances in genome editing where you can use CRISPR-based systems to directly change the DNA sequence inside cells, which can have therapeutic effects like correcting disease-causing mutations. In my PhD, we wondered whether we could harness the power of viruses just as a therapeutic delivery vehicle and not as an infectious agent, replacing viral genomes with a desired protein cargo, like a genome editor, for example, and that protein could perform its therapeutic function. But virus-like particles and, and viruses in general are just generally foreign pathogens that you know, might generate immune responses when delivered into human patients. Now that I'm here at the Whitehead, I'm really interested in investigating some of nature's other natural delivery vehicles, including extracellular vesicles. While viruses are kind of these like foreign pathogens that infect cells, extracellular vesicles are actually much more common in natural cells. They're spherical bits of membranes that pinch off of cell membranes and then you know, when they're outside the cell, they just kind of exist as maybe like a semi-spherical blob that might contain some, you know, interesting cargo. Those vesicles can be transferred between cells. And, and some of these vesicles are really interesting because only certain cell types can release them and certain cell types can accept them to receive the contents. I'm really interested in studying the processes that are involved in vesicle secretion, kind of getting a better molecular understanding, hopefully, and also comparing and contrasting those mechanisms with the virus like particle stuff that I've worked on. But when it comes to genetic diseases, there have been a lot of really powerful technologies developed recently for converting um, disease-causing mutations in uh, genomic DNA back to a normal DNA copy. And so pairing those tools with appropriate delivery vehicles to really correct the disease-causing mutation in cells within the body, um, uh, I think has enormous potential to benefit patients. I think one thing that I was really lucky to experience in my PhD was a really collaborative environment. Um, I think that's the type of environment that I really am hoping to foster in my own lab now at the Whitehead. And as a fellow, it's a really unique opportunity to both be a principal investigator, but also be working very closely at the bench with all of the members in my lab. And so I'm, I'm really excited to be able to do that as a fellow.